Welcome to a weekly vlog that I'm going to be doing in the lead up to Bustleton Ironman. I have finally decided to do another Ironman. I did my first one in 2018, Cairns. If you're interested in seeing what it's like to go from this to an Ironman in 15 weeks, well then stick around because that will be, these, these videos will be coming out every Monday between now and December. So Bustleton is a seaside city in Western Australia, um, a fair way from here and Tim and I will be driving over for the race. So this week's focus is more on the history of Ironman for me. I did my first triathlon in 2012, that might give you a bit of a longer timeline, and my first Ironman in 2018. Um, leading up to that Ironman, I did not miss a session. I was coached, uh, had a coach for that one, and did every single session to the T of what I was required of me. So what my coach said, I did everything. And leading up to that new, uh, to that Ironman, I kind of, when I had it in my head that, you know, I'd be happy with around 14 hours. I thought that would be pretty good for me. As I was doing my training, because it was going so well, I kind of lowered that time expectation and thought that I would do much better than that. Maybe, you know, even getting into the 12 hours, even if it was 12.59, I was like, oh, maybe that's possible. Then at the Ironman, during the swim, I got seasick. And the result of that made me feel nauseous. And what happened was I couldn't get enough food in. And so I did okay for the swim, I did okay for the bike, and I was doing okay on the run until 15 k's and then just totally fell apart. And I ended up doing 14 hours and some minutes, and I can't remember, it was like 15, 16 minutes or something like that. And even though that was my initial goal, thinking I'd be happy with that, I was so disappointed so disappointed and I remember you know it was late at night ringing my coach after the race and he's like you have just done so well and I was like no I haven't and it has taken me a long time so 2018 to 2023 to actually think that I might be ready again it's taken me a long time to have that feeling that I can do it again so I always knew I would do another one but it just was always, no, I'm not quite ready, I'm not quite ready, I'm not quite ready. I feel like I'm ready to do all the training because it is a lot of training. So I'm currently sitting around 12 hours of training and that's leading into a half marathon that I've got in a couple of weeks time. I feel like I need to get under that 14 hours but in, I also feel like that's probably not a good goal to have because it backfired last time. So I was like, oh, you know, it's a whole lot of mental things that I am going to need to work through because it's a very long day. So I hope you stick around and I hope you enjoy following my journey to get to Bustleton in December in 15 weeks time. Um, and obviously Tim will be filming that race and there will be the video after that. But if you've got any questions about what training's like, why you would actually want to do one or anything about the whole Ironman process, um, I'd love to hear them and hopefully I could either answer them in the comments or in the next videos that come out. So here we go, Ironman number two, Busso, December 2023. Thanks for... Training with me. It's going to be a big one.